Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a broken bar chart. So a broken bar chart is a diagram that has a horizontal axis that's going to be divided into units of time usually, and a vertical axis that displays the values of some sort of qualitative uh, characteristic that you're wanting to study. Uh, and this is usually, again, um, uh, what, what we're going to see here in a little bit, is you can do it as uh, some fun, kind of fun and interesting uh, plot that you'd have. So import matplotlib.pyplot, that's PLT, and let's do something like figure axis is equal to PLT, uh, and you know what, maybe, maybe we should actually go on and make our data. And so um, let's do team one, uh, and this here is your actually the data is broken up kind of by time. So for example, you can say like your active time or your inactive time, uh, those types of things. And so let's say here, um, uh, let's make up some some data here. Uh, mm, 150 by 10. Mm, Maybe it'd be better to do this. I think I think I think it'll be okay. Uh, team two here would be something like um, ten by fifty. One hundred by twenty. Uh, I think that'll do. Uh, and then let's also go on and actually uh, create up this. Um, bar chart. So figure axis is equal to plt dot subplots uh, and our axis dot broken bar h uh, is going to be our team one uh, with uh, 10 by 9 uh, and then our face color here and uh, is going to be a tab Okay, and so blue. Uh, and let me go on and plot this out so you can kind of see what that looks like here. All right, so this is this is the initial plot that we're going to have, okay? So we have this first kind of plot here. Notice it starts at 110, it goes all the way up to um, 150 by, um, by uh, about 160, okay? Uh, and so again, so this is basically like uh, starts at 150, goes up by 10, okay? Uh, starts at 110, goes up by 30, okay? So that's where these these numbers here come from, okay? Um, so when we do this for the next one, though, now this tab, this tab is because these are broken up. You can actually color these um, differently as, as you want, okay? So I'm going to say that these are just going to be the same for now. Uh, the next one, let's be access... Uh, broken bar H, team two. Uh, and then we're also going to have here, we want 20 by nine. Okay. And this is, this is going to be showing us the um, horizontal. So here you can see here, 10 by nine. All right. Here's 10 going up nine. Okay. So that would be 19. So this is, this is the um, X axis. This is the Y axis. So you need to actually have it banded. All right, and so this is just basically saying how wide I want it to be. Okay, I could have made it 10, I could have made it anything else, but you need to know how big those are. Okay, uh, then the next thing that we're gonna do is give it some face colors here, and this needs to be in a, um, a tuple here, and it'll be tab, and let's say red, uh, tab, green, tab, um, Um, orange. Okay, and now we can run this. Eh. Where is my orange at? Hmm. Should be an orange about right here. Did I? Oh, whoops, I didn't actually put one in. Uh, and we want maybe 130 by there we go. So now we see that we have these um, 
multiple patches, okay, um, of, of data. And so then these could be like timelines where someone was um, maybe in, in a zone that they weren't supposed to be in, or maybe they were in um, some, uh, maybe like this is when they started racing and then something happened, okay, and so then they had a break. And then here there's nothing, there's no penalty here for these guys or something like that. Okay, again, you can have any type of story um, that you want to based on whatever data that you have. Uh, so let's go on and add in a couple other things. And let me maybe make this a little bit cleaner uh, so everything's seen here. Uh, and let's go on and uh, set up our limits here. So set y limit. Uh, we'll do 5 by uh, 35. Sound okay? Axis dot set x limit um, uh, will be uh, zero to two hundred. Uh, axis dot set x label in here, and we'll say um, I don't know seconds from start. Uh, since this is this looks like maybe seconds, I highly doubt it's going to be minutes. Um, oh, oh, we can do minutes. Okay, maybe maybe it's a big um, a, a race. Okay, maybe it's an Ironman competition, or uh, maybe a or a, a 5K swim or something like that. Uh, Access dot um, set y ticks here, uh, and we want them at 15 and uh, 25. Okay, and uh, the reason for this is what, okay, if you look here, here's 25, we're going to have team um, A, and maybe here we're going to have team B, um, or I think that's maybe the opposite of what we want, or team 1 and team 2. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fix that whenever we get to it. And so next we'll say uh, access.set y tick uh, labels, and uh, this needs to be team 1 and team two, oh, and then it's axis. Then we want, uh, probably would be useful to set a grid. So axis dot uh, grid is true. Uh, and let's go on and run that really quickly. All right, so this looks, this looks a lot better. Uh, so here we have team one, here we have team two. Um, and we see that uh, this is this is this is quite nice. Um, now maybe we want to discuss. So we want to have some sort of discussion on what happened here. Maybe why does this group here? Why is there this red bar here? Okay. Uh, so maybe this is a penalty. They got a penalty for whatever reason uh, during this particular time period. Okay. Maybe they went off course from their race and they have to have. Um, that many minutes of penalty later on tacked on to their race time. So we can do axis.annotate. And here we'll say something like uh, um, penalty. Okay. Um, and this would be at 61, right? Uh, 10 plus that is 60, so then 61. Um, and then we also have, uh, we want it at 25 because we want it in the center there. Um, uh, text coordinates here is going to be uh, axis fraction. Uh, then um, let's put an arrow in there. Arrow props. Okay, it will be a dictionary. And we want uh, face color is going to be black. Uh, shrink is equal to 0 0.05. Um, font size here, let's make it 14 for now. Uh, horizontal alignment 
equals right. Vertical alignment is top. Uh, what didn't it like? Probably misspelled something. Oh, shrink. Shrink, not trick. All right. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> what didn't it like here? Oh, and it's axis fraction, axes fraction. All right, and we're missing the the x and y coordinates for this, so. Let's add one more line in right here. Why not? Uh, X, Y, uh, text here is, let's say, 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. All right, and I want to put this here. So then now, notice here we get this um, nice little penalty uh, thing here saying, oh, there was a penalty right there, right there, OK? And uh, we can always kind of maybe uh, mess with this uh, a little bit later on to say that we want it somewhere else, but at least it gives you guys an idea of uh, what you can do uh, utilizing these um, uh, these tools, okay? If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.